the reason why I show you these types of clips, these types of uh, films, is because Russia produces two types of propaganda. A propaganda for an international audience and propaganda for a domestic audience. Most accurate portrayal of a lesbian I've seen in, 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 a, in a film in a while. The black people get to use the bathroom first because black people are above white people in America. We actually eat almost double the amount of meat that the Russians do apparently. So Russia is a soy beta country that eats less meat than us, has less testosterone. Therefore, every Russian male is basically a trans woman. I wanted to show you guys this ad. Now, there is not an English translation of this ad that I've seen. So uh, forgive me for uh, my lack of translation skills. Uh, we're, you're just gonna have to watch it and kind of guess what they're saying. But this is an ad that is meant to encourage people to stay in Russia and not leave and go to places like America, Georgia, Turkey, because, you know, there are more people currently fleeing Russia than people fleeing Ukraine because they're so scared of conscription and being sent to Ukraine to die for a pointless war. And so an ad was released uh, to convince people to, you know, stay in Russia, not go to the West because the West is terrible. And in this ad, they specifically highlight same-sex marriages if you flee russia you might see a few gays and that when you interact with black people you got to apologize to them you got to apologize to the blacks is uh exactly how it's worded so it's all in russian so don't expect um me to translate this because i it just i can't but just pick up the vibe i think you guys will get it Man in chat says there's a translation. Oh, there's a translation? Can somebody post it? Can somebody post the translation? I would appreciate it if you had a translation. It would be very helpful. It would be very, very helpful, actually. Does anybody have it? Yeah, same-sex marriage. Isn't that radical? Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy that they did that? Absolutely bizarre. Absolutely cray-cray. Did they just say that and not post it? In before baited? Did they did they bait me? Here's the translation. Hey! Base, 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 base. Look at that. Look at that. We get saved here. We get saved here. Fantastic. So we do get a translation. Okay. Fantastic. Let me just uh, post that I'm live. I haven't posted on Twitter that I'm live. So the people might not know that we're about to watch how Russia fears the black man. Uh, we w and we wouldn't want that. <laughs> I just, why the, <laughs> could you imagine you were like, I was going to flee because I didn't want to die in Ukraine. But then, uh, then, you know, I found out there's black people in the uh in the west you know and at that point like you know my, my hand was my hand was tied my hand was tied okay we are alive okay let's look at the translation <laughs> our plane has reached the required altitude we hope that the flight of the airline will bring you pleasure Finally, we are leaving. How long have we wanted to do this? God willing, we will fly normally. It's a pity. After all, it's my homeland. And I have friends who are all the same age. It's okay. You will find new friends in our community. There are all kinds of people in America. Are you flying to America? Yes, we are moving. Are you from there? Yes, you are doing everything right. America is the most free country. A country of opportunities. Are you flying with your husband? Da, we are together. He will come soon. By the way, here's my husband. Meet him. Emily. Emily. 
So could, could you imagine being like, look, I was going to go to America. I was going to not die in Ukraine. But then I saw there were these two girls that loved each other. And I was like, no, no, I need to die outside of, <laughs> I need to die. I need to die outside of Severodonetsk now. If I don't die outside of Severodonetsk, then I'm going to have to look at icky lesbians. I will say this is the most accurate, this right here, her sitting down, giant ass pink hoodie. Most accurate portrayal of a lesbian I've seen in, 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 a, in a film in a while. Very accurate portrayal. Some eating food. I'm sorry, sir. The passengers behind you are vegetarians. They are not happy that they are being eaten. We didn't force them. I'm sorry, is an immoral, but morally corrupt, bankrupt man. But in the USA, the principle of democracy is always followed. So if you go to America, you can't eat meat. You know, America, the land of burgers, big ass steaks, barbecue culture. You can't, you can't eat, you can't eat meat in the United States. You can have guns and shit, but you can't eat meat. Apparently, you can't eat meat in America. America is illegal. There's no hot dogs. Hot dogs are actually an urban myth created by the Swiss. Uh, by the way, thank you very much for the tier one sub, Divinity, being sub for eight months. Let me take this. Does anybody actually believe this? Is anybody like, oh my god, if I go to America, I won't be able to eat pig anymore. I won't be able to eat steaks. They actually get convinced by this shit. Like, I'll see girls kiss, meat's illegal. Like, what What else? Where are we going? What's next? Uh oh. Hey, man. There's a queue for the toilet. What do you want? I said... I'm sorry, sir. What happened? This guy is getting in without a queue. And don't you want to let him in? Me? Of course. We have to let him in. We are waiting for him. His people have been suffering from the pressure of the whites for many years. We are before all African Americans. The reason why I show you these types of clips and these types, the translations here were bad, but they give you a general idea. The reason why I show you these types of clips, these types of uh, films, is because Russia produces two types of propaganda. Propaganda for an international audience and propaganda for a domestic audience. And the propaganda for the international audience is bad already, but their propaganda for the domestic audience is absolutely fucking insane. And this is one example of it. So the reason why, this is the pitch the Russian government makes to the Moscovite about why they should not flee to the United States. Because if you flee to the United States instead of going to Ukraine to fight and die and serve the Nets can get blown to bits so you can be shipped back to your wife in a body bag as your kid buries you in your backyard and you get like a stipend of like, I don't know, a few, a few hundred rubles is because A, they have icky, icky lesbians. B, you can't eat meat because it offends vegetarians. Again, the, the country with some of the most, I would say, aggressive pro-free speech laws in the world and uh, one of the biggest barbecue cultures on the planet. And C, you, the black people get to use the bathroom first because black people are above white people in America because, Amer because American whites are so guilt-trippy about slavery. You know, I, 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 have, I have often hated the fact that uh, I'll need to take a massive dump and like, I'll see like 10 black people um, run up before I can, before, right as I'm about to close the bathroom door and they're like, yo boy, get out. I'm like, ah, damn, you got me. You got me. Okay, everybody else, I'll just shit my pants, I guess. I hate this country. I hate that they're that. That's the, that's the standard now. I don't even know what to say about this. I mean, like, Russian propaganda is absolutely absurd. Russian propaganda... I remember talking to somebody about Russian propaganda and Russian propaganda like this. Russian propaganda isn't only absurd. It is so absurd that 
the absurdity of it get uh, like eliminates people's critical thinking skills. If you are able to look at this and think this is actually how America functions, your critical thinking skills have been completely eliminated and it's gonna be almost impossible to have a conversation with you. There's a reason why we look at these 1420 videos. For those of you who don't know, 1420 is a, is a YouTuber who posts conversations with like Russians across Russia. The reason why 1420 often when they ask about why people support the war, there's there's a decent chance the person is going to say, uh, th th this is how the interaction will go. Do you support the invasion? Absolutely. Why? Um, I, uh, I, I don't know, man. And, and, and the reason why is because they have, uh, Russia basically just, they don't explain why you should believe something. They just tell you to believe something when it comes to their propaganda. If you if you listen to Russian state TV or advertisements like this. Also, good find by chat. We actually eat almost double the amount of meat that the Russians do, apparently, according to this map. Where where is the uh, where where did you get double here? America eats more than twice the meat per person that the beta Russians do. Oh my goodness. Let me see. Uh Kilogram per person 2017. So I guess we go to the we go to Russia and then we go to the United States. So let's go to Russia. Let's see. Where is uh is America even on this list? I don't see America on this list. Oh, what's North Korea at? Oof, that's not good. Oh there it is, United States. 124. Okay, okay. That's that's a lot. That's a lot. What what do we at? What do we have for Russia? Russia it's ooh 76. So it's not double, but we eat more meat than the Russians. So Russia is a soy beta country that eats less meat than us, has less testosterone. Therefore, every Russian male is basically a trans woman. Okay. Good to know. Topic over.